Do you want to check out IT Pro TV but aren't ready to commit? We're making a few episodes from our most popular courses free for you to try here on YouTube so you can see what they're all about. Enjoy this episode and head over to itpro.tv when you're ready to see the full course. Hello and welcome to IT Pro TV. This is CEH version 11. We're here to give you an overview of what you can expect to see in this course. I'm Kathy Chambers. I'm going to be your host throughout this journey and alongside Daniel Lowry. What's up, Daniel? Yes. That's you. Yes, that would be me. I am a, a cybersecurity SME for IT Pro TV. So that's why they've kind of tapped me in on this little endeavor of ours to get through the CEH version 11. I've been in IT for like 20 something years now. Has it been that long? My goodness, you can kind of tell due to the gray and the beard. And then, uh, of course, I hold different sort of certifications in security as well, including CEH. So I'll be walking you through all the technical details you'll need to know to be successful on your exam. Yeah, and I'm just here for fun. She's here to help. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so before we talk about the course itself, what kind of background should our learners have before diving into CEH? I would highly recommend having a strong background in operating systems, both desktop and server, and in all the platforms, the uh, Microsoft uh, of the world, the, the Linuxes of the world, and the Apples of the world. Not only their desktop and server operating systems, but mobile devices would probably be on the table as well. You need to have a, a strong foundational knowledge of how to work in and use all of those platforms. And then don't forget networking. You need to have a pretty good foundational knowledge of networking as well to understand the different protocols and things that we uh, use and abuse when it comes to certified ethical hacking. So having those two things underneath your belt is gonna be super helpful. And of course, if you've ever used the cloud before at all, that will also play a, a bit of a part. So if you have some cloud experience, that'll be a cherry on top of that cake. All right, so then let's, let's break it down for the good folks out there on how this course is actually gonna be structured, how all we're gonna do this. Not a problem. So I have broken this down using the CEH blueprint that is provided by EC Council. I've got that pulled up right here. And the, we are on version 4.0. This is the latest and greatest of this version. So basically what I've done is kind of jumped these uh, domains and subdomains, used them as kind of our framework to work our way through, and then made episodes around trying to address each one of the topics that are under this description bar, right? So we'll have an introduction, introduction to ethical hacking, and then there'll be episodes that kind of address the different things that are in there, like hacking concepts versus ethical hacking concepts, maybe some information security controls, as well as the laws and standards that you might be uh, confronted with on the exam and in real life as well. I like to keep both of those things walking hand in hand as much as I possibly can throughout the series. That's one of my modus operandi. So we'll be covering things like reconnaissance techniques, footprinting, scanning, enumeration, vulnerability analysis when it comes to system hacking and the phases they're in. Oh, we definitely want to know those different system hacking phases and techniques that are going to be used to gain access into systems. It's kind of what you're here for. It's why you paid price for the ticket, right? It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be doing that. Looking at malware threats, uh, doing some network and perimeter hacking through sniffing, social engineering, and you get the idea. We're going to kind of walk our way through this blueprint, not verbatim, I probably, you know, I take some literary license with a thing or two here and there. So if you're holding my feet to the fire on this specific document, you might get a little disappointed here and there just because I thought maybe there's a better way to show this or that's not uh, super relevant when it comes to the exam or in real life world. So I use this more as a guideline than an actual set of rules. But that's, that's basically what we're going to walk through. And you can see there's a lot of different great stuff in here. Web application hacking, super fun. I like doing that. Uh, we also have wireless as well as mobile. Don't forget the IoT and OT hacking. That's an interesting one. We get into a little bit of cloud computing and wrap it all up with a bit of cryptography at the very end for spice. That does make it nice. Because why not? Because why not? <laughs> so there is a lot to take in for this course yeah. and a lot to do for the exam, a lot of studying to do. So. Daniel, what are some tips that you have for people as they're going through these episodes? Any kind of stuff? Yeah, you know, those standard study tips. Make sure that when, uh, if I mentioned, hey, this might be good flashcard material, have some material to actually make flashcards out of, or maybe go online and find some flashcards. Those are always super cool. You can find those uh, in various and sundry uh, corners of the internet. But make your own because they're going to be yours and curtail straight to the way you think 
and feel about that specific topic. So do that. We also have practice labs here at IT Pro TV. So if you're an IT Pro TV member, you should have access to our practice labs environment in which you can try some of the things and the demonstrations that you see throughout the series. Or if you're feeling strong, just try to recreate the thing that I'm actually doing in the episode that you're watching. So if it's a virtualization, uh, you know, find the actual thing that I'm using in a virtualized environment, spin it up in your own and try to do the same things. Follow me step by step if you feel that. That's a great way to get that hands on as a long uh, pra put that together with practice labs. You should have a pretty good experience. Yeah. So at the top of this, I said I'm here for fun. And that's kind of I'm kind of serious about that because <laughs> we did have a really good time. Right. I think you guys are going to enjoy the course. And for Daniel Lowry, I'm Kathy Chambers. Thanks for hanging out with us. This is CEH version 11. Thank you for watching IT Pro TV.